16 billion dollars. That's how much is in the state's budget bill. It's moving through the legislature and calls for hundreds of millions of dollars for state employee retirement and health benefits, but also money to care for our airports and highways. And a group that holds the government accountable is raising questions. Let's send things over to Howard Dashevsky. All right, Bridget Mercer, thank you very much. Yeah, joining me now is Kali'i Akina, the president of the Gra Grassroot Institute of Hawaii. And you guys are kind of a watchdog organization that watches what lawmakers do with the budget, otherwise known as our collective money. Uh, you guys are keeping a close eye on things, and how important is it that we all know what's really going on with our state budget? Well, it's very important because our legislators are ready to spend more money than we brought in. They want to spend more money than there is in the coffers, and as a result, they're desperately looking at raising our taxes or taking money from our emergency funds. And that's going to affect everybody. It's going to affect the cost of living in Hawaii, and it might even affect services here. Okay, let's talk about this year's proposed budget again. Lawmakers have not voted into law. How big is the proposed budget uh, compared to last year, and, and where do we stand? Well, overall, we've got an $18 billion budget, half of which is the general fund. I mean, $16 billion, half of which is the $8 billion general fund. And mm -hmm. here's the big takeaway you need to keep in mind. We don't have the big surplus that was expected. There's been a downturn in our economy. We're going to have $250 million less to spend, and the legislature is going to want to spend that they're looking at raising taxes and they're looking at going after emergency funds. Now, unlike the federal government where we've seen the, uh, the deficit skyrocket well into the trillions, here we, we have laws that require a balanced budget. But to, re to reach that uh, threshold, something's got to go. Well, you know, Howard, it all depends upon how you use words. You can say you're balancing a budget, <laughs> okay. but really doing something sleight of hand. For example, in our household, which isn't that different, mm -hmm. if you've got $80,000 of income, but you end up spending $100,000, you got to make up that $20,000. Right. You can borrow it, which is going to hurt your credit rating, or you can take it from your savings, which is going to hurt you on a rainy day, or you can cut services to your children. And the state is going to look at doing all three of those things with this budget around the corner. So everybody's going to feel some pain. I think so. It's unfortunate because we did our budgeting backward. Usually you add up your pennies and dollars and dimes, and then you go out and say what you can spend. It on, what, right? What, what could we, what could, this is what we could afford. But our legislators did it backward. They said they have a shopping list first, and now they're trying desperately to see how they can afford it, and it's going to affect everyone. What are the, if there's a couple things you've read through this budget that's a lot of uh, pages, what are the one or two or three items that just jump off the page that just makes you want to pull your hair out that you're wondering, why are we throwing that much money into this? Well, let me say at the outset, there are a lot of great ideas. And if you can afford those great ideas, that's not the problem. The problem is being committed to spend money before you have money. And that's what's got to change. Is there anything that you don't see in the budget that is important that we're not funding properly? Well, I don't see a commitment to capping our spending at what we can afford. I don't see a commitment to reducing regulations, which would give businesses more money. I don't see a commitment to reducing taxes for taxpayers. And by the way, when we tax our taxpayers, we hurt our income coming into the government. Mm -hmm. So if we could do those things, uh, make a commitment not to spend more than we have, I think that's what would make us happy. And if we don't do those things, we kick the can down the road and we all just pay more on the back end. I think so. Just like a household, you can say you're balancing your budget, but if you're really borrowing from your future, as the state is going to do, we're going to see more unfunded liabilities. We right now have mm -hmm. at least $26 billion of unfunded liabilities in what we owe in our pension system and our health system to our state workers. And if we carry that during a recession, it's going to hurt us. None of us does a good enough job of watching over. Thank you for the Grassroot Institute of Hawaii for being a watchdog on behalf of all of us. It's critical. Well, thank you. And we released a report today, State of the State Budget, which is available at www.grassrootinstitute.org. An important read, no doubt. Kali'i, thank you very much. Interesting Thanks. stuff. Thanks, Howard. Appreciate your time. Marissa Bridge, back to you guys.